this is it's, it's like it, it's it's an Atlanta store, so it wasn't challenging to be like, mm. hmm, how can I conquer this? <laughs> it was like, it was like, oh, you didn't get a finesse. All right, hey, how long let me tell you what finna go down? You feel me? It was like, oh, that's all. That's exactly what we need. Exactly. So it was like, like you say, it's an Atlanta store. So mm. if we come up with scenario like, hey, bro, say for we in the store, you thinking about stealing. You, you you stole it, but you put it back, but they mm. still think you steal it. <laughs> what Atlanta going to be like? He going to flip. Knowing that you was, he caught you stealing, exactly. but you put it back. <laughs> <laughs> Can't have no change of heart. You still a robber. <laughs> so it's like, how can Atlanta portray that, p- 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 you know what I'm saying, convey that message to the world? And that's what we was trying to do when we was pitching. Mm. We were like, you know what? There's a story that need to be told for Atlanta, bro. Not only... On no gangster shit. It's like there's a right. underlying story mm. that needs to be told as is black excellence. Mm. Yeah, when you pass all these apartments, there's a unit of black excellence, black love, and a black appreciation. Mm-hmm. And how can that be told to the people who ain't from here? Because when everybody come here, they love it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They stay. Yeah. But don't yeah. nobody want to tell the story on why. Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. J. Hill, and welcome to another episode of the J. Hill Podcast. But right now, I want to give a special thank you and shout out to our sponsor, that's Top Dog Law. So look, man, if you're suffering from medical malpractice, a slip and fall, especially a car accident, make sure you call my guy Top Dog Law. That's Top Dog Law on Instagram and topdoglaw.com. Look, if you check out his Instagram, you'll see he uploading big checks. I mean, like every day. I ain't talking about the little ones. The big ones. So shout out to my guy, Top Dog Law, topdoglaw.com. Get that money. I know I'm trying to get it. Yo, what's poppin'? You know what time it is, your boy, Mr. J Hill, J Hill Podcast. This is a special edition coming straight from the Trap City Museum. Uh, we mobile now, so before we even get to the interview, right? Trap Music Museum. Trap Music Museum. Trap I'm sorry. City. Trap I get, City I get it. Next yeah, I get it. Yeah, it's all right. I combine the two. You know what I'm saying? As you can see, T.I. is in the building. when you say them both at the same time. My God. Yeah. Trap yeah. Music Museum <laughs> next to the Trap, Trap City, City Cafe. Cafe. You feel me? That's how we're going to do it. It ain't work better when you do it that way. As you can see, the energy is already here. Nothing but good energy. We got T.I. in the building. D.C. Young Fly. We got BBS in the building. Uh, before we start the interview, I just want to say, uh, give a special shout out to, and a thank you to my guy, Warren. 404 Creators, um, mobile podcast pr- production uh, here in Atlanta. So if you're trying to get your podcast going, you uh, he will come to you, right? If you're trying to go to somebody else, he will come to you, then go to them. So holler at him on Instagram, 404 Creators. My guy, Warren, uh, the website, Warren? Uh, just 404 Creators on Instagram. Yeah. Uh, 404 Creatives on Instagram. The link is in That's his bio. That's a hell of a business model, by the way. Yeah. That's it's a hell of a business model. You know, that, 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 that requires some vision. Facts. To understand that there is a need or mm-hmm. a demand for people who come to this city and have an opportunity to do podcasts, but might not have all this shit together. Mm-hmm. So, you know, to, to, to recognize that need and feel that demand, that, that's, you know, that's entrepreneurship. Mm-hmm. You feel that's what I'm saying? I was thinking it. He said it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, this ain't your shit. <laughs> hey, that's cool. Hey, all the promo we can get. But look, I want to jump straight into it. We talking about being in the city, right? Atlanta. Uh, of course, the movie Departments uh, it drops when when, when you see this. Yeah, when you see this, it'll be dropped. It'll, yeah, it'll be it'll out. Be right? at- Facts. Yo, when you talk about Departments, me not being from Atlanta, I hear it so much in the city, right? Uh, it got a. A super popular podcast named Apartments. We got uh, Desi Banks always talking about my partner in Apartments, mm-hmm. right? What is the Apartments? What and what does that mean to Atlanta? Uh, it's a it's a it's a community. Right. It's a community. Um, I mean, y'all got apartments in Baltimore. Yeah, I, yeah, I got the projects yeah, for sure. Yeah, project mm-hmm. apartment. Well, see, the projects is a little different. Tell me the difference. See, the projects is like you know they they uh uh and we talk about that in the apartment mm. in the film. See, projects is um that is a government owned building mm. that is you know it allows people who live below the poverty line to stay there. You know mm. what I mean? Apartments, you know, no matter how luxurious <laughs> or how modest they may be, you still paying rent. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> or unless you got Section 8 and you got a vibe street. That's yes, a fact. Yeah. Right. But right. the apartments are different from the projects, and the back street is different from the apartment. Mm. Right. So, you know what I'm saying? There's levels of life in this community and, you know, levels of uh, uh, evolution of, 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 of your experience that I think that we kind of touch on a lot of that. 
Um, it's a little classism in it. In the apartments. Yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. Because people in the apartment, you know, they, they, they feel like they're doing a little better than the people in the project. That's fine. Mm-hmm. And the people on the back street feel like they're doing a little bit better than the people. We all thought we, we But we all in the, the same ghetto. Oh, yeah. 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 Same yeah. 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 I know y'all, motherfucker. <laughs> Yo, it's crazy. We was just talking about you about to drop some music, right? Right. And the only people who say they can't take it serious are the people that look like us. Right. And not even far looking at the people that's in apartments looking down on the people that's in the projects. Right. Let's talk about the people that's in the apartments looking down on people that's in apartments. Mm. It's like people that upstairs think they're better than the one down. Right. Bro, right. Yeah, right. I had the ones that coming up in the projects. Like, and I as a kid, I didn't understand the difference. I, I used to think that they did have, have it better than me, to be right. honest, right? Mm-hmm. When did you what, when did you learn that, man? It's only the people that look like us or the people that come from the same places that just that like talk what OG said, we stay in the same neighborhood. Yeah, we got people that got, like, I'm from the back street, mm. but I also grew up in the apartment. But I also understand what he said, the project, but I have a, a different perception that I feel like the project is the apartment mm. because at the end of the day, it's the, that's what we consider our project. Right. We ain't have no project. Mm. Y'all call them the project, but we just call them the apartment. Okay. You dig what I'm saying? So it's kind of like the same thing, but me being on the back street, when I was going into the apartment, I knew it was a different type of feel because people was outside all day, every day. Mm-hmm. It was like a barbecue. Because you know you're in an apartment, well, so you really ain't got nothing but to do but come outside. But when <laughs> you in the back street, you could be in your yard and I could be in my yard and they'd be like, fuck you, motherfucker. No, nah, facts. We ain't never got to see each other. Yeah. So it was just a different feel every time I went into the apartment. It was like a more love foundation than what it was on the back street. Mm-hmm. Yeah. BB, I'm curious, what was your experience in the apartments when you was coming up? Um, it was like mixed. It was like the project, the, when I was growing up, it was like the project people, meaning the government assisted people and people who like in apartments, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So it was like, and it was like people on the back street. Cause I lived on the back street too, like 63 Magnolia, that's in Vine City. That's where like my grandma house was type. Like that's where I lived at. That's where I went. I used to walk to Kennedy. So my, my growing up, it was just, it was, it was hard. I ain't gonna lie. It was hard. <laughs> Hard. Rough so it was about. fun at school, but when we go home, that's when it got hard. Like when it got you, home for me. Mm, like hard, like what? Lights off, mm. like, like that. Ain't got no food like that. Sometimes yeah. got to limit what you eat. Like right. you know what I'm saying? Like that's what I mean by hard. So like school was an escape. Walk to school, walk to the same folks in the hood. Go to the school. When I say I heard, I heard somebody talking about you know, you know, growing up poor, can, and, and these you know, these, and I know these people, and they happen to have hard working family, right? Lived in a house, modest house, but a house no less. Same house throughout their childhood. Uh, it had a car. And, you know, father had a career. Mm. Mom was a stay at home mom. Uh, I'm like, poor. I, <laughs> man, wait a minute. <laughs> you really had a good like, life, my boy. Having to divide the time when your gas would be on versus it would be mm. off. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, winter months, you know, it's important to have the gas on for the heat. You know what I'm saying? But but in the summer months, you don't need no heat. Right. You know what I'm saying? You just put man filled water up in the bowl, put a bowl in the microwave when you got the when you got to wash up in the morning. Mm-hmm. And the phone was a luxury. Mm. Yeah. To have a phone in the house. Cable. Say hello. Cable was a luxury. To say hello. Cable. Well, cable. I live in the apartments. I go straight to the cable box, take it out of somebody's <laughs> For and write in mine. Oh, See, man. we got our neighborhood, so we, yeah. they ain't got cable or the house net don't got cable. <laughs> so you can't steal five, six houses from down. <laughs> See, that's how I, I don't think of it like it's in the projects, but like even with the gas and electric, if our if our electricity ever went off, yeah. we took the uh the extension cords right. and we plugged it outside right. and just ran the extension cord into the crib. Okay. Mm. I mean it's all type of struggles yeah, man yeah, yo yeah. speaking about the struggles in apartments right again man, i was just telling the team how like i never overlook where i'm at man right. i mean by like, like just sitting next to all three of you guys is like it's super it's super dope and it means a lot coming from our city right but we talk about these struggles how important is it for a ti right for you for vbs and for a dc young fly to be able to re- relate these stories to somebody that's coming up in the same type of environments that, and they know and they can hear these stories and be like, oh wow, I know that's what I went through. How important is that? That's the beauty of it. I think that's the phenomenal part of being a storyteller. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's even more beautiful when you are able to come together and utilize your 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 relationships, uh, combine your strengths with people that uh, are like minded, have similar experiences, uh, and and want to convey the messages to the world the same way. That you do without anybody trying to 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 
stop or 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 trying to influence Have how input. you say what you want to say right. to your fans, to your to your uh, community. Um, and I think that's us being able or us having the the tenacity and and, and the ambition mm. to say, man, we just gonna come together. We don't need nobody but each other. Mm-hmm. And we gonna get this done, and we gonna, you know, we gonna tell our story when we want to tell it, and we gonna speak to our people the way we know they'll be able to understand us. Mm. I think that's the beauty of it for me. Mm. How important? How important is that transparency for you? you see? I mean, just like how you said, man. We we come from we come from Atlanta. We come from the West. You feel me? Can't nobody tell us how we talk, how we move, how we walk, what we eat, what they think. Can't I don't care. Time. Mm. I, don't, I, I sit here and tell okay, anybody you If you ain't from the west side I can't sit here and tell you about the east side Cause I ain't never hang I graduated from a school that was on the east side But it was technically a part of the Atlanta district So it was still Atlanta public we school went I went to Korea, graduated okay. from Korea You dig what I'm saying So it's, it's, it's when you speak of Atlanta We, we are Atlanta nah, that's So who gonna sit here and say Nah that ain't gonna fit how you know? Yeah. yeah. See, me and DC, man, we done actually been in rooms together pitching ideas to major networks. Mm-hmm. You know Thanks. what I'm saying? Like really pitching our ideas and, and, and you know, trying to sell these people <laughs> to let us do a TV show where he and I were to bring forth our communities mm-hmm. type of comedy mm-hmm. uh, and, and, and be authentic in our communication. And for for us from the same community to sit and listen to people not from our community mm. tell us what they think would work in our community. In our community. Right. Exactly. It, just, it just felt the way, you know what uh-huh. I'm saying? And, you know, it motivated me to the point where I just was like, man, we got to do this shit ourselves. We got mm. to find a way to do something. We can, we might can't do this idea the way we presented this right. without, you know, some outside investment, but we can find something for us to do, but mm-hmm. we can do it just us. Yo, that's crazy that you asked that. Vivi, I want to ask you a question because you're an artist, right? Correct. You're an artist, and we talk about them gatekeepers, so to say. They try to hold you back, say what you could, can, and can, what you can and can do, right? Mm-hmm. You being an artist and you getting this opportunity to play in a, uh, have a, like a, a big role in this movie, what does that mean to you? You said having what? Having a role in a movie, being an artist, when most people probably wouldn't even cast you. Right. I ain't gonna lie. More than anything, I'm grateful. Mm. I'm grateful for Tip. I'm grateful for the opportunity from um, the piano guy. That's what I call him. Who um, helped? Who put that together? Or whatever the case may be. But I'm just. It's. It's like I ain't gonna lie. It's shocking for me too. Still, like I think it might hit tomorrow when it drops or mm. whatever the case may be. But it's like. I just feel like it motivates people like to know like because a lot of people know where I came from. Mm. Like, especially in the city of Atlanta. So I feel like it'll make people know, like, damn, she came from this, she can do it. I mean, I can do it, you know? Mm-hmm. So more than all, I feel like it, it's gonna motivate uh, motivate people a lot. No, nah, that's super important. I'm that, glad you was able to say that too. But check this out. She didn't plan on she wasn't like aspiring to be in no movie. Mm. <laughs> right. Like she was working in my studio, you know what I'm saying? And of course she got some of the dope music you'll ever hear. Uh, she working in the studio, and I, at the same time, we working on the film. And as I'm writing and working on the film and seeing her every day, it kind of like, like, man, this is her. Mm. You know what I'm saying? As I'm writing and going through the scene with Rome, and you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, man, this, this is just like, it sounds like the same voice. You know mm. what I mean? And I just said, hey, man, you ever thought about, you ever thought about acting? Say, like, man, how you do that shit? <laughs> oh, and you know what I'm saying I just gave it to her and she said man hell yeah, yeah I want to do it I mm. want to do it and you know I just kind of went, went went over it with her and told her like you know a lot of the, 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 the obstacles it would be to overcome and a lot of the challenges and a lot of the sacrifices that it'll take and um, and she she nailed it she killed it mm. so I was fortunate enough to watch it at the interview I was to watch the whole thing yeah. not the final edit but the whole thing and I don't know how much we can disclose or not, but I was just curious, have you ever been that girl in the role that you played in the apartments? Mm-hmm. Where the yeah, guy yeah, pulling I'm up? Girl right now. <laughs> I'm that girl right now. That's who I am for real. No, nah, like, but... Just not, like, I ain't gonna say that's, like, how, how I am for real, but, like, that's... 
She, we have me and her have similar ways. But you ain't that girl though. Like pulling up to the projects, every I feel like all of my friends, we got that experience. Pulling up to the projects, about to go see this fine chick, but you got to go to somebody else's hood right. and just ask you a question. That's why I said we can come whatever, whatever you need. Now when I go yeah, to my like, hood, when I go to my hood, it's respect. It's different. Yo. <laughs> gonna lie, hell, yeah, yeah. Talk your talk. When I pull up from Ashby to, to the bluff, yeah, Ashby to the bluff. You know how but have you ever been that girl and you had to come yeah, yeah, to, to your hood though? Pull up to them. Came in the blood yeah, to see you. Yeah. From that's not from the blood. Had to walk past goons. Um yeah, Randy <laughs> them, I think they <laughs> cameraman. Cameraman them. I ain't so she probably my, can't even well, is not the place you wanna just pull up listen to somebody. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm saying. Now, this ain't the <laughs> But that's what I'm saying. That's a lot of us around the world. Like, that, you don't wanna pull up to another nah. We looking at every cock crazy. Oh mm-hmm. god. Every cock crazy. No, but that's right. a bad feeling though. Mm-hmm. To look at it, like you can't even relax. Really, yeah, the worst feeling is the guy doing the bro, pulling up. Like him. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> the, <laughs> worst <laughs> is, the worst feeling is the guy doing the pulling up. Right. Yeah, that like because really, he really, really, really might come out. You gonna pull into somebody? He really might come out, and what happened in the movie might really happen. No, though. But you want bad, yeah. bad, don't you? Pull on up, then see what that shit talking about in the apartment. Yo, DC. It's curious, curious, not to get serious on it, but um, I seen you playing a, a few movies now. Right. Uh, I think um, almost Christmas. Right. Uh, too too high. Right. How high? How high too? too. Right. 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 And mostly like predominantly black movies. Right. And we see you and, and you doing this this uh production too, and you you co produce. Right. Yeah. Right. But most of them is like black movies. Do you ever right. be afraid of being put in that box? Because we hear so many no actors talk about that. I, I do auditions for them other movies too. Mm. I just gotta keep. Go on to work for my black people. It ain't just about doing it for black people. I'm black. Mm, I, <laughs> I think it's important I, I, to say that the people's interest right. for them other movies mm. come from the success that comes from the influence facts that you display mm. and convey by being facts. in these movies. That's a great now, point. Now, have I branched out and, and, and broadened my, my range? Hey, yeah, yeah. I done done like two, three movies that you're going to see me. I did a Western. Mm. Okay, then. But, I think but, I, no. but, but, but get what, though? What? Go ahead and lie. What you mean? No, no, no. Go ahead and say no. Go ahead and lie. Like, I was a skit or something? Yeah, go ahead and lie. I, I, I didn't watch the movie. Crazy. I didn't watch the like, movie. Crazy. I swear to God, I was like, did I see yeah, something I'm like that before? Up. Like, yeah, you know, I ain't going to lie. Yeah, go ahead and lie. Yeah, you know, I'm not going to lie. I don't have no reason to lie. Trust me. No, but look, no. But check this out, right? I did a Western, but look how it still ended up being black because that's where we still come from. Yeah. Everything yeah. is originated from us, so at the end of the day, even what they doing is black. No, I ask that because we see actors maybe turn down a lot of movies because they don't want to be put in that box. Right, you know? right. So I was just wondering if like no, 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 no. It's 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 always love. But then once you realize the game is different, it's all it's always about stay working. Because mm. you be like, nah, I'm straight. Because like he said, we done pitched so much. Yeah. To other people that don't look like us, they like, nah, we straight. So mm. what? Am I gonna? Settle down or, 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 or simmer down what I'm doing to be like, you know what? Let me go do something for y'all community. Mm. Mm-hmm. Cause that mean I'm, 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 I'm branching out. Mm. Think, no. Right. I think we gotta, I think we gotta, we gotta, we gotta do what we can till we can do what we want. You feel Yo, me? stay right there. About just keep talking about them people like pitching them, and I'm not really giving us a fair shake. Even know who them people is, but you whoever know. we pitching yeah. them to, whoever they is, right? <laughs> yeah, Imagine yeah, yeah, whoever yeah. them people is, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, I feel man. like sometimes our greatest work, either music, uh, stand up comedy, it comes from like having a chip on your, in your shoulder, right? What was the chip or the motivation in writing this to make it so good and entertaining? Because I watched it, it was, it was it was really funny. Thank you. For sure. What I was saying is just like I said, sitting in sitting in rooms, right? Trying to convince people. To, 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 that, that we can do something we know we can do. Right. You know, and that it's going to work with people that we know what they want better than the people in the room. Mm. And, um, and always remember this too, though. They always watching what we doing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So fact. we bigger, it's always done cross whatever threshold that you think we need to go do in order for us to branch out. Hell no. Wild and Out is one of the biggest TV shows that they got, but it won't. Might be promoted like that, mm-hmm. but I, we know that's yeah. a fact. That's, that's, that's <laughs> a ball. I feel that's like it rivals. Matters. I feel like wilding out rivals Saturday Night Live. You know what I'm saying? Mm. For this, for this generation, 
Wildin' Out is the Saturday Night Live of this generation. Yeah, I mean, that's a fact. I mean, I don't even know. I don't ever even remember watching Saturday Night Live. I remember Wildin' well, Out, though, for sure. Generation. You, I mean, you know, you don't come from that generation. But right. look at how many stars it's produced. Right. Yeah. Same thing mm-hmm. for it's the same Out for this yeah. generation. It's, it's a blueprint. Right. Yeah. It's it, ain't yeah. no, it, ain't, it, it ain't like we trying to be bigger than nobody. It's always competition. But if the blueprint is the blueprint and you follow the blueprint, and if you succeed, ain't, wasn't that the whole goal? That's a fact. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's hard. That's Yo, good. speaking of Wild and Out, we see Nick did a lot of collaboration. I Thanks. think about your career. You never was like that old head rapper, that Paris rapper that was like, man, nah, them young niggas ain't really doing it. You collaborated with a lot of young artists. Uh, Lil Baby, Young Thugs, just to name some, some huge ones. And now even doing this movie, we see you reaching back in your comedy bag, but reaching back to some of the younger comedians and actors and rising actors. How important is that collaboration when they come to making art? I mean, as an artist, man, it's always wonderful to to align yourselves with people who are just as good as what they do as you are mm. at what you do. So, you know, we all share different experiences. Facts. Mm. And so the way I would like to have have input and and share my experiences, I want to offer people to uh, offer people who I think are deserving the same opportunity mm. and to be able to align yourself with people Thank you. you really rock with. Mm-hmm. I love good. that so much, bro. For real. Yeah, That's fine. Give really him a hook, with. motherfucker. <laughs> 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 yeah, nah, for real, though, man. Niggas need to see that, bro. <laughs> it's love. I mean, sh- I really rock. Everybody who in the movie, people, I didn't do no casting call. These mm. are friends. These man. are people. Right. These people <laughs> I call you know. on the phone and talk to and see. You know, mm-hmm. whether at the comedy club, at the studio, uh, at, at, at the trap city, or right. wherever we at, man, we see each other and rock with each other. And every time we see each other, it's our way, man, we got to do something. Mm-hmm. And, man, what we going to do? Mm-hmm. And I just answered the question, do what we going to do? Do what we doing? Right. And when I put it out there, everybody was like, I'm in. I'm in. Everybody yeah. who I called and said, hey, man, except for one person, but that's all right. Uh, but mostly everybody who I call, I need to know who that one. Is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you asked this. <laughs> everybody who I call, everybody who I call, man, was was, was like, yeah, I'm in, no problem, I'm in, I'm with it, and uh, and and as I was writing it, and I move around in the city quite often, quite you know, I'm very very fluid in the city. You see me anywhere, uh, and I run into people, and as I'm you know, me and Champ writing, writing. And as I ran into people, I just said, oh, you know what? Super J was always Nesto. Mm. Soon as I started writing for Super J role, I always saw Nesto. And it probably could have hat. He always wear that <laughs> hat. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, Sh- you know what? That man put that hat on, tie a blanket around. He, he, this is Super J. <laughs> and, I, and I just seen that. Uh, good game. <laughs> good game was always g mm. You know what I'm saying? Because of her voice, for one. You know what I mean? Good game's voice to she me. Got a good game too. It, 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 you know, she got she got a, a little series of, I guess you can call them snippets, mm-hmm. a game she should be mm-hmm. called Game Time. Mm. And that was kind of like when she called uh Taylor on the phone and said, uh, purse first, ass last. Make them pay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Like that's right. That's good game. Right. That's how she, you know, and I that's just how she heard is yeah, that's how she is in real life. Right. So I just heard her putting game down and that just kind of, so everybody who's in this movie, as I was writing it, I just saw them in this role. Mm. And everybody who I called said, okay, except for, except for cut to one or two people. And you was about to say his name. One or two people. Now, I'm thinking I, about I, a move for good guy. I always <laughs> had her in mind for some shit. Yeah. Yo, DC, crazy. Pla- pla- I'm sorry, plan and... So many uh, movies at this point, but I haven't experienced. Hold up, hold up, game by. They vacuuming? Hey. Okay. I appreciate, oh, okay, I okay. appreciate the care for the production. I yeah, appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, that shit gonna be crazy. Hey, I appreciate well, it. Well, none of that gonna be good. I yeah, know what yo, you, you, you having your fair share of planning some movies. How important is that to have a piece or a part of yourself when you plan in a movie like T.I. said everybody had in this movie? Uh, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's just, it's just an honor, first of all. You know what I'm saying? Like, I grew up off OG. You know what I'm saying? And for us to have a relationship like we do, it just, you, you, you gotta cherish those type of relationships. You mm. feel me? Just like how you said, when you call, I'm pulling up. You feel me? I was in sixth grade. 
<laughs> when the, nigga Ab was on fire I was oh out here scared to T.I. bro You tripping <laughs> And for me to and be I'm able to call T.I. But, 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 but this the thing though How long he been running the game though You feel me And I'm one of those T.I. fans Where I feel like he can out rap all these niggas mm. You feel me It ain't just like Oh nah I rock with him Like nah nigga If we ain't have a relationship How we do I be one of them niggas outside talking some. Man, I bet T.I. got rap nigga all these niggas. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. So it's like, so when he be like, little bro, I need you. I'm like, I don't give a fuck what it is. They don't pull it up. But yeah. outside of the relationship, how right. important is that as an actor to have a piece of you in mm. the role, right? Is oh, that doesn't make oh, it well, easier. I mean, I mean, you know, this is, it's, it's like, it, it's, it's an Atlanta store, so it wasn't challenging to be like, mm. hmm, how can I conquer this? <laughs> it, was like, it was like, oh, you need a nigga to finesse a nigga? Oh, all right. Hey, how long let me tell you what's finna go down? You feel me? It was like, oh, that's all. That's exactly what we need. Exactly. So it was like, like you say, it's an Atlanta store. So mm. if we come up with a scenario like, hey, bro, say for we in the store, you thinking about stealing. You, you you stole it, but you put it back, but they mm. still think you steal it. <laughs> what that Atlanta nigga would be like? He gonna flip, knowing that nigga you was. He caught you stealing, exactly. but you put it back. <laughs> <laughs> Can't have no change of heart, nigga. You still a robber, nigga. The robber. Yeah. So it's like, how can the Atlanta portray that? P- 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 you know what I'm saying? Convey that message to the world, and that's what we was trying to do when we was pitching. Mm. We were like, you know what? There's a story that need to be told for Atlanta, bro. Not only on no gangster shit. It's like there's an right. underlying story mm. that needs to be told that is black excellence. Mm. Yeah, when you pass all these apartments, there's a unit of black excellence, black love, and a black appreciation. Mm-hmm. And how can that be told to the people who ain't from here? Because when everybody come here, they love it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They stay yeah. But don't nobody want to tell the story on why. Mm. A humanality. You feel me? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, these are human beings. They find themselves in extraordinary situations, but they're very ordinary people, mm. you know? And I think that, you know, everybody has a history. Every sinner has a future, mm. and every saint has a, has a, has a past. You right. Dig? I think that once we realize that, and stop judging people because they seeing different than we seeing. You know what I mean? I think we begin to all come together and realize that, you know, we more alike than we are different. Mm -hmm. Y'all, um, I know we rapping. They used to call us go. country, but now nah, everybody love to stay in the country. Facts. Exactly. Nah, it's a fact. <laughs> I know y'all got other, lives down this bitch. I know y'all got other interviews to go to, right? But, I, but like me, I would be doing my city a disservice if I didn't ask this, right? Coming up in a city like Boston, we always say, we everybody clearly see the what's special about Atlanta. They right. always be like, especially in the music industry, they be like, man, we got to be more like Atlanta, right? Right? Mm. Ti, you being from here and being a legend that you are, you staying your entire life here, you always giving back, being in the community and in the culture. Mm-hmm. How does a city like a Baltimore or a city that that might not get this spotlight like Atlanta become that? How have you seen Atlanta matriculate into the place that it is now? Uh, unity, mm. just sticking together. And I feel like that about any city. I feel like that about it really. It, okay, so 99% of the problems that we have as black people, not just Atlanta, not just Baltimore, not just New York, not mm-hmm. just Cali, as black people, 99% of the problem we have could be solved simply by us sticking together. Facts. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, y'all heard it first right here, man. And lack of knowledge. Yeah. How do we get knowledge if we don't know, though? But this is the thing, though. Mean? Like, I was just in D.C., right? People gotta, people gotta wanna know. It's always a desire to wanna know. This you is know. A fact. Uh, people have a lot of desire to wanna know the fuck shit and the flaws about you and all that extra shit just so they can feel a little bit better about themselves mm-hmm. on, or where they put you at on the level of, oh, I'm better than you because nigga, you a fucked up person. No, everybody going through something. Right. It's just like DC got this big old mogul thing because at first they used to be called Chocolate City, which mm-hmm. means that was the city where all black people used to go. They got go go music. Yep. Mm-hmm. If you don't know what go go music do for DC, you won't ever really understand. No words, I just no call nothing. Groove, just thinking about it. No, uh-huh. no words, <laughs> no nothing. Let the band play. Everybody up dancing on their feet. This is how we used to be. Yeah. So if, if we take a little bit of that and, and implement it into our lifestyle, yeah. Like we from Tennessee, we from Atlanta, but we take a little bit of that. So it's like wherever every, everybody does, that is a level of comfort of growing and how people unify. We just have to take a little bit of that and implement it into our lives. And we'll know each other a little bit better. Mm. 
Before we stop, man, I don't want to. I don't want to run your show for you, but before we stop, I, th- I just got to remind people: mm-hmm. this is a completely independent film Facts. for us, by us. We ain't get no money, no no investment from nobody. No cap. We ain't attached to no major platform. We ain't, you know, ain't no big big networks or movie studio behind us. Nope. It's just us. It's you us, my boy. Saying ain't nobody. That, this is what you see, what you get. Facts. So uh, you have opportunity to support us. Simply by going to our website, departments.film. Department.film. D A P A R T M E N T S dot film. Go get it. Go and get it. And you can buy you can you can rent for four ninety nine. Uh-huh. But you can buy the whole thing for nine ninety nine. Uh huh. So we selling nicks and dimes. Facts. <laughs> you feel Facts. me? No count. For all the time, still no selling count. nicks and dimes. You feel no me? No so count. Come on and put down on that pimping for once. You feel no. me? Facts. That's all. Support, support, support the real ones. Yeah, I got to support the real ones. Give me some. Nah, man. I appreciate y'all for uh, stopping by. Uh, right hopefully, on. we sit down some some more. Uh, this is definitely Absolutely. a great conversation, man. Which no no, all of y'all, nothing but success. Man. Y'all were cool. Thank respect. you so much for having us. Of course, uh, anytime, man. Appreciate you, man. J you Hill, know, when J- you hear when you hear VV drop song, you should probably go get it, man. It gonna be dope. No cap. When you hear DC drop song, hey man. You know, just, just, just get your lady somewhere, light a candle, and listen to <laughs> I'm him. I'm trying yeah, to take Yeah, yeah, just don't be too close, though, because he might take him. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm trying to take it. Yo. Yo, love and respect. Like, nah, that's him? Nah, nah, Vivi, I definitely, um, I love to come up, Vivi. I want to uh, you could come on the show whenever you have time. Same with you, DC, bro. I no, okay, okay, appreciate you y'all, so man. T.I., I appreciate love you. Love and respect. Love. Right. Uh, you feel me. The promise is out now, J.L. J.L. Podcast, right? Yo.